Hey everybody, welcome to the laboratory here at Victory Brewing Company in Parksburg, Pennsylvania. Um, you and I have the extreme pleasure of spending some time with our quality assurance technician, Zach Miller. Um, you know, we use whole flower hops day in and day out in our brewing process, and um, Zach has devised uh, what I think is a really cool way to visually describe to you what is involved in using whole flower hops versus another option, which is the pelletized version of hops. So Zach, uh, how are we gonna go about this today? Well, what I've got here are some whole flower hops. These are actually Tettenang hops, noble hops from the Tettenang region of Germany. Uh, these are the whole flower versions. You can see how there is very minimal processing. The only processing that is actually done on these hops is that they are dried and baled. And as opposed to the alternative, which are pelletized hops, the much smaller, much more compact version of Tetanang hops. And really the way we like to describe it is, you know, we would never like to say one is inferior to the other. Brewers can utilize either form to a maximum effect. And it's done, of course, across the United States and internationally as well. We worry about the denaturing of the whole flower hops. Again, the um, chopping of the hop is going to release chlorophyll and other aspects of, of the fresh hop. And then the extrusion of it is a, a process that generates heat. So you really have two steps to denature the hop. We believe that the best flavor is the most natural flavor in these. So why don't we go ahead and take a whiff of these and uh, see what we can come up with. So Zach, part of this assignment was to do equivalents equal yes. quantities of hops. So what we have here in the leafy whole flower variety is this much volume and when compressed into the pellet form this is what the equivalent would be. Really nice mineral qualities to the whole flower tetanangs. The tetanang region is uh, just off of Lake Constance in Germany and um, We've been working for many years with the Bentola family farm there in order to get the hops that go into Svess beer, um, Prima Pills, and others in our lineup as well. Herbal, spicy. Mm -hmm. Once you crack open a pellet, there's pretty much the same amount of aroma to them, um, I'm thinking, but uh, there's, I don't know, an edge, um, a floral, uh, grassier edge to the whole flower hops that I'm getting. Sort of a subtle nuance. Uh, that you don't really get from the more processed pelletized version. No, these are German hops. You can't speak French. Nuance. <laughs> <isn't gonna come in. laughs> so, uh, Zach, it looks like you've created a, a mini brew kettle here for us today. Absolutely, absolutely. So what I've set up here is a simulation designed to show the time-honored tradition of adding hops to the brew. So I will go over adding whole flower hops while yep. Bill will add pelletized hops. Because I haven't been able to add pelletized hops to a brew since home brewing days, so this is pretty <laughs> exciting for me. So for the viewing audience out there, what do you think is going to happen here? Um, Ow! <laughs> mine is pretty exciting. Yeah. It might be a while to add all these hops. What we aren't getting accurate here in this visual depiction is that the whole flower hops in our brew kettle are going to be integrated and inundated into the liquid work almost immediately. At this stage of the game, the colors are relatively the same, but I think you can see the pelletized version is rapidly taking on a much greener cast. Green to me looks delicious. Um, so, you know, this is very green, very hoppy looking to me. Um, playing devil's advocate, why is this not what I want to drink? Well, absolutely, Bill. It's the, the whole hop cone being macerated into the pellet. You're getting that entire plant vegetal material being extracted into your wort. Whereas with the whole flower version, we're not getting any of that. We're leaving the whole flower intact. And you can see just the difference in color where this is slightly yellow uh, yellow to green, and this is a very bright, in-your-face green. Uh, that's indicative of what we're pulling into the water. Very well stated because, you know, the, the lupulin glands that comprise the bitterness and aromatic characters of the uh, hop that we want in our beer are yellow. So what we're extracting here is the pure essence of hop that we're looking for, whereas this, you know, again, we've got something of a stew of plant matter. 
So I think for our viewing audience, this is a pretty um, easy visual description of what you see is what you get. Um, in essence, we're making hop teas at this point. And um, there I can see the integrity of the ingredients in the tea. I know that it's you know, a natural ingredient. Um, here it's pretty visually stunning in terms of the color of green, but you know, where does the color of green come from? Does it come from hop oils or does it come from chlorophyll? So what exactly is being put into the work itself in this one or this one? Well, uh, we really appreciate the fact that uh, you're interested in learning about the Phil Hopsophy <laughs> we have here at Victory Brewing Company to using these whole flower hops. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Significant. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay, so we're learning something about the pelletized version of hops. Absolutely. From the pills of Victory Fest here. That's my favorite part of the job, Bill. <laughs> <laughs>